As a curator of modern and contemporary art, and as an art historian, I've been interested in the history of painting. Peter has brought something to that conversation that I find really new and different. He's making a sculptural object. He's using the actual physical properties of paint. He is making a new dynamic experience of painting with light. For the whole 30,000 year history of painting, we've always seen the front of the paint and light hitting the front of the paint. I wanted to see the back of the paint. With glass, the eye goes from one layer to the next and the next. It's essentially 3D painting. One of the main areas of investigation in contemporary painting has been this uh, coming together of sculptural ideas and painting ideas. This is something that Peter's accomplished extremely well. When you look at his work, not only do you see this incredibly beautiful paint application, you're also very much aware of the physical presence of these sheets of tempered glass and the luminous presence of the light behind them. The light itself glowing really is this breathing element of the work that I find very dynamic. And I'm interested in this trajectory of artists through time who have really had the subject not be the landscape but be the light. And Peter, I think, is in that lineage. I was a trustee of the New Museum of Contemporary Art for about 17 years. I've been looking at art and buying it close to 40 years. When I walked into the room where Peter's work was, it just flipped me out. I loved it. There's a lot going on on the surface that feels semi-opaque and then transparent layers through which I can dive into this incredible natural space, almost as if I'm going underwater. There is some sort of secret world in the painting that is brought out with this light that comes from behind and helps press beyond the edges of the glass. It's how to swim through and there's always a light. It's truly contemporary. The vision is a prediction of the future of contemporary art. The language from nature and from the human body inside. You see all this internal veining, this natural branching architecture, which all ecosystems in nature have. Paint has it too. You see the branches, you think of trees, capillary systems, river systems. All of that is coming out of what paint itself does when it's uh, pressured. When you apply pressure to paint, it reveals this universal principle. And when you bring light from behind, like you'd put a, a slide on a microscope, you can come to appreciate the innate organic qualities of the paint. This goes so far beyond what traditional painting on canvas has ever been able to achieve before. On top of what the painting does in and of itself, Peter has added the element of interactivity for the viewer using dimmer switches that allow you to change the intensity of the light. And as you do that with the work, you get into a real play with the full range of experience you can have with this really different, unique way of painting. Peter Bynum is asking about uh, the lens of time and space, like a slice of the soul and the see the enlightenment. It can be in Shanghai, in, in Europe, it can be in India. The beauty of his work is truly universal.